Let's see how this goes. It might take a while. <laughs> want the trailer to start rolling when I'm unloading it. <sighs> yeah, it looks good. It's so much easier when you don't have a trailer. Apparently that gate was broken, that was assigned to me. So I had to first connect the truck to the trailer again and then yeah, be, yeah and then move them here. <sighs> Unfortunate. Finally finished with unloading. It went really well. Once I got to start, it went well. <laughs> I might as well remove this one. So yeah, that was easy. Now I'm gonna connect everything and then I'll head to the next place and load. Wow! <laughs> Look at the, the height on the truck. When the truck is loaded, it has weight on it. <laughs> and when the truck is turned off, well, it's racing up to compensate for the, the weight that is disappearing, if that makes sense. <laughs> Holy heck! <laughs> All right, let's go. Freaking the weather. Guys, this is actually a legendary day because I have been driving a truck for 11 years but today was the first time I was asked to show my forklift certificate. I have never ever been asked to show that. Finally I got to show someone that I'm actually certified to drive a forklift. Ah, so I'm happy. It is, uh, I think it's 8 in the evening now. I'm getting quite tired. I have not been sleeping as much as I should, as usual. I will probably fall asleep as soon as I come home. I will be home. Uh, it's gonna be a while. I have arrived in Jordbro. I have reversed trailer in Jordbro. I have uh, re-reversed trailer in Jordbro. Unloaded the cargo. Then I went to this other place that was super uh, high security, like 
everyone has to have safety shoes, uh, high vis uh, forklift <laughs> certificates, uh, no photograph whatsoever. I want to be careful with uh, filming in warehouses and cargo as well, so that's why I don't film that uh, today. <laughs> Yeah, so right now the truck and trailer is filled with pallets. They are kind of lightweight, which is nice. I can take the somewhat faster route home. There is a bridge with a limited weight. But I'm getting tired. I have actually microwaved a little uh, <laughs> Billy's pizza. <laughs> this is a little pan pizza. The these are lifesavers. Uh, for me when out on the road uh, as long as you have a fridge and a microwave so yeah i'm having a little break right now um, but i feel like my brain is taking in so much i get overwhelmed in my head in a way that most other people don't get from the same stuff and it's like once you get burnt out it is uh it is hard to like fully recover i think a bit frustrating because I can tell I get so tired in my head. I'm gonna eat my pizza and then I'm gonna drive from Jordbro to Nyköping where I will be refilling washer fluid. It's taking up so much washer fluid right now with uh, all the salt and the snow on the roads so I have to refill washer fluid. And then I'm taking the truck back to Mjölby where I picked it up. And then I'm gonna drive home with the caddy to new shopping. So it's like that way and that way. I will literally pass my home on the way. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad I decided to uh, work today. <laughs> eh, good enough. By the way, that's the electric truck we have here. I have never tried driving it. it Wouldn't be fun though. Yay! No. Oh. I have just washed the mirrors and we filled some washer fluid. So it's nice and clean, at least for the next 10 minutes on the road. Oh, it's raining, it's so cold. Take a closer look on the electric truck. Look at the wheelbase. It's like so far back. It reminds me of a bus, an uh, inner city bus. Uh, I would love to try driving it. <laughs> Someday. But right now I gotta take this bad boy home. Oh, I'd rather have rain than snow, actually. Alright. Let's see if we can park this thing. It doesn't look any better on the parking lots. It is so much ice. Ah, panic. <laughs> yeah, I can see my car from here. Yeah, that's my car. I'm just gonna do as good as I can. I'm a Viking trucker. That's who I am. As you can see, it is still very slippery. I'm gonna try to reverse a little bit more, but uh, it's not really straight at all <laughs> compared to the other trucks, but I can't really do anything. It's 
<laughs> it's really hopeless. So yeah, a bit more reversing and then I'm gonna call it a night. <laughs> I love winter. Finally, time to go home. Boss, I'm tired. It has been so much driving, it's insane. Yes. Oh, it was a challenge to just park the truck. Oh wow. I'm like all exhausted. It has been like easy going to work, <laughs> even though the slippery parking lot. Uh, otherwise it has been going good. It is always a challenge when when it's pure ice <laughs> in the winter conditions. So the thing you don't want to do is just full speed <laughs> when it's slippery outside. You want to take it nice and easy and maybe find a little wag. <laughs> and like, ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh. <laughs> And also have a constant flow. You don't want to stop because you maybe won't get going again. <laughs> so uh, you want to like have it one smooth movement when reversing. So another thing I was thinking about, you know, uh, at the first stop I reversed in my trailer. I disconnected the truck and then I reversed in the truck in a different uh, dock. Because the guys in the terminal said, take these two dogs. <laughs> and I did what they said. And when I come in, I'm like, it has a note on it. Don't use this dock. And I'm like, eh. And this other guy comes up to me like, yeah, that, that one is broken. Why did you reverse in there? Oh, so it's like, yeah. And it was the trailer that was reversed in there. Uh, so I had to drive the truck forward, close it up reverse, connect the trailer, connect, connect the trailer and then move the whole trailer. Since the truck was in a working dock, I could have unloaded the truck. So I wouldn't have to reverse in the truck again after I have disconnected the trailer again. So I would save time on that. But first of all, the cargo was very heavy. Uh, an empty truck and a fully loaded trailer is not a good combination. <laughs> you want as much pressure on the, on the driving wheels as possible. And uh, with this, uh, with the icy conditions, it would have been impossible to uh, reverse the trailer if the truck had been empty on the weights. So you prefer to have more weight on the truck if you can especially in winter conditions. You do not want a too heavy trailer and a lightweight truck because it will be really hard to steer if even possible. So yeah, if anyone was thinking about that. <laughs> uh, right now I just wanna go home. <laughs> so I'm gonna take on all my stuff, all my trash. <laughs> I'm glad I did this. Uh, I'm glad I'm not doing it every day <laughs> because it, it, it was a lot, yeah. And I feel like my brain is just very tired right now. It's gonna be nice to come home and see Vigo again. So I hope I have not forgotten anything. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, bye truck! Thank you for today. Sleep well during the new years and I hope the fireworks won't be too scary for you. <laughs> now I'm just gonna blast home. Wow, cool car. What is that? It's cool. Right, I forgot something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My pants are wet. You know, I forgot something in the truck typical so I just knew I didn't slip on the way to the car here so I'm definitely gonna slip this time because I forgot something it's so typical just one more thing I was walking extra carefully and then just I could feel it like whoop 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 swoop and I hit my head in the ice <sighs> 
it's like not too bad but it's like wow like, it kind of hurts <laughs> it's so typical but uh, in the beginning what I was gonna demonstrate how slippery it was I didn't get hurt that time but now I get hurt it will probably pass I hope you guys enjoyed this little spontaneous vlog, work vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and happy new years to every one of you. Uh, I am looking forward to an exciting 2024.